Hi, Piper Press Unmasked here with my friend who is over here. Say hello. Hello. Thanks for being on here with me. No problem. And making yourself vulnerable and unexposedly vulnerable. You make me vulnerable all the time. Me and, and me and my friends, right? Yes. <laughs> Many friends. So like without saying too much, um, let's give like a general bracket of like your age. Um, mid fifties. Okay. And then, uh, you told me earlier, you've been doing this for since I was 17, 17, my first experience. And has, has it always been pretty good? I would say, um, 95% of the time I've had great experiences. I mean, obviously you're going to find a few bad apples. Yeah. Yeah. All right. A bunch. Yeah. We don't but want I'm them. In the, I'm somewhere between in that lifespan, probably between three and 4,000 providers in that time period. So this is a expert uh, lifestyle. I don't, I don't really use the word hobbyist. It's fine if you like it, but I'm not a I'm big not, fan. I don't consider myself a hobbyist. I kind of take offense to that. Good, me too. Um, this is like you said, it's my lifestyle. I've been single. Uh, when I am in a relationship, I don't see providers. I, I'm, I'm kind of odd like that where I try to be faithful to the person that I'm in, but I'm not in a lot of relationships in my life. So this ends up being uh, my relationship, sort of, sort of speak. And to be honest, it's kind of ruined the ability to have a decent relationship because I get the things that I want seeing providers. And, you know, nowadays it's very hard to have a relationship with somebody, especially when you're older and you have children and whatnot. So uh, those types of things are difficult to manage in life. So this ends up being a much better experience for me. And we're and when you have world. such beautiful friends. Of yeah, and I get to, you know. I Miss Press's friends and I'm, our mutual friends. And, and yes, and I'm trying to get to, to see a couple of you together at the same time. I know. And my location makes it difficult sometimes. You guys don't travel here together. Yeah, it's far but, away. But uh, yeah, absolutely. I uh, Especially your friends, uh, great positive experiences I with know. them. I, and it's, I, as I've started to mature and become uh, more involved with some of the, I don't mean involved like relationship wise with providers, but just finding out who have the, the providers that have relationships with each other, that have friendships and whatnot yeah. uh, is, ama is amazing. They're, and then there's also the, the girls out there that are kind of catty and they're, they're awful. They treat other women in this profession, which is a hard profession to be in, especially with the stigma that gets, they, they are not respectful of them. And that, I, that turns me off. I, I don't want to see providers that are, that like are just, not, yeah. that, that don't respect other providers. That they think they're yeah. better than everybody yeah. else. Yeah. We know, we know some mutual ones, but we, we I, won't say I have a personal, um, not because, but I had a reference from another provider to see one of her friends First experience was great. Tried to see her a second time. Um, I made a, a slight error, nothing that was major. And she tried to ruin my life by putting all kinds of negative things up about me. Said I raped my kid. Uh, just weird stuff I remember like that. So all guys, that. you gotta watch I remember out. That. Be very careful. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to scare away guys. Yeah. Yeah. Just do your research on on your providers that you're gonna see. Make sure Absolutely. They, they have a good rep. If I had known this about this provider, I probably would have never even seen her the no, first time. No, because you wouldn't have wanted that. I mean, no. it's just a beautiful girl with. Uh... And she is. She's absolutely stunning. Yeah, I mean, with... that's 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 the caveat to it. It's like she doesn't have to be the way she is. She would survive in this industry very easily because she's not. She's beautiful. Yeah, she naturally has... beautiful. I mean, but 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 she doesn't have it up here, and and guys know when the girls don't have it up here. Yeah, they they don't I, come back around. I, well, maybe they do, but they have to be like really I, cheap, or just the men have to be like really hot. I actually code word. Uh, <laughs> I get, um, to be honest with me, with you, the providers that I see, I like them to be cerebral. You know, the, I've seen many over the years that uh, that quotation marks dumb blonde or bimbo and I don't want to use those words it's okay but this is a figure of speech but you understand what I'm saying is that you know they're beautiful but nobody's home upstairs and it you know worries me in a sense that you know if they don't have this they don't have anything else women that ask like you 
you make a business out of this, not just the providing part of it, but the everything else it. that goes along with it. You know, yeah. you're a smart businesswoman. So it's that is an attraction to me, you know, that the, the things you post up, the little, you know, cute little things that you put up on your ex site. For and which and I've known you for a long time and we've had lots of times together. So mm -hmm. we're, we're friends. That's what uh, the, the outside world has no clue of like how interconnected we are and how important it's a 50, 50 thing, how important yeah. it is for me as well as my friend that we do connect. And I that, have, sorry. Uh, a couple of friendships yeah, that I know. go actually deeper than what we have. I mean, you we have you know casual conversation type thing if we wanted to, but I have friendships where I can do things with them. I've met their husbands, some providers. You know, she, purposely the husband wanted to meet me when when he was traveling with her. I mean, and we've become you know we chat. You know, so I do know. It's well, so, you offered to pick me up from the airport. Yeah, and I do that for a, a number of people. Yeah, 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 and I thought that was really nice. I, I've i never had anybody pick me up besides a porn agent. Yeah, I mean, it's just... Only because no one, I guess, no one's really I, I, asked I, me. I, I, I don't know, and some, and, some, and some providers are a little scared by that, and that's fine. At it's first. Just, but it's who I am, and if they get to know me, they understand, oh, he's very giving. He's just trying to help yeah. out. You yeah, you are giving. I mean, every time you come, you come with a dessert cannolis homemade and champagne or you just always come with something like it's 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 really 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 it's a thoughtful party. yeah I and mean, and, I think I, and you're being thoughtful for towards me and i mean it is it is a, it, it doesn't take a lot some of the things that, kind of, that throw me though uh there are a number of women no, I have no problem with uh, women or providers that have their little wish tender sites and things like that it's great but to always constantly advertise it like every day buy me something from this buy me something from that yeah what do you think of that i i take offense to that yeah i think it's gaudy to do that it hey, looks listen, somebody, wants to, somebody wants to buy something they should want to buy it because they yeah. like they met you they like you that yeah you're friends they're trying to sell yourself to buy something for you aren't you a provider isn't that you're, you're working yeah i mean that's your job that's yeah that's you your business do. yeah and if you choose to want the guys I, mean, so I think some women like try to take advantage of men. Absolutely. And I think other guys are, are think, oh, if they buy them something, they'll they'll get it. They'll they'll it'll get come a in favor bit. with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. They'll come to find out that's not the case. Now, I've, there are times that I, you know, I had a, a provider friend that I've seen several times. She was moving. She had a wish list up for some things for her new apartment. I bought her something. I didn't go crazy, but you know, she appreciated the fact that I thought of her. Yeah. In her time of like her Yeah, time but your friends. Need. And well, yeah, we should, You don't yeah. feel like she's desperately no, asking. She and she doesn't and she doesn't go up on X or tw formerly Twitter and put things and like I need stuff. Can and you beg her? Or who's gonna buy there are a couple of providers and some of that I have actually seen and will never see again because then I, I found out after it's like who's gonna buy me this five thousand dollar Tunisian carpet? <laughs> I'm like why? That's interesting, huh? Yeah. You're, you're thinking like you're, I mean, if you want to be with a billionaire, go marry one. Like, it kind of doesn't make sense to ask for this. A $5, if you have dollar, like a sugar daddy a $5, and he's like doing you every month and he's that, giving you this ridiculous thing because you're like a boyfriend. Day, you know, that's okay. a real, sugar daddy's real boyfriend. That's a different story. But like when you're, that looks so dope, so tacky to me. I know a girl that really screwed a friend over, a mutual friend I, I don't say client, but that's what I, that's the code word. So a mutual friend of mine and other ladies and the girl put on, she, her kid needed a bike and her kid needed this and this guy bought it all. And then she was, she was supposed to show up for a four person party with this one guy for his birthday. The little brat, she did not show up, Minnesota person. She did not show up. She kept the deposit. She kept also his, you know, she didn't even get to thank him. She didn't thank him. She just screwed him over. And he's like, I oh, won't do that again. I'm like, yeah, don't do that again. At all. Don't, do, it don't all. do that again. I've been taken. And he felt really shitty, you know, and that's, that's, that's not okay. I've been not taken okay four times by providers for deposits, four times in my life. Two who I, uh, uh, providers that I had seen previously multiple times that I was even surprised that they actually did this. They fell off the face of the earth. Yeah, wow. There's a, actually a fifth that uh, has promised. We'll see if it happens. She had some issues, so she had went offline. She's back online. She's supposed to visit next month, so we'll see if she lives up to it. 
But other than that, I'm very cautious about who, you know, the deposits. Again, that's another a sticking thing with a lot of No, that's a good thing to say. Providers yeah, it's a good too, thing to talk they, about. You know, they don't want to book appointments with us. They don't get a deposit. And guys are afraid to give deposits because they get screwed over. And you guys and, and providers, it goes both ways. Totally. All right? It's not a perfect system. It's not a perfect world. Just like anything else, like used cars, deals, and everything else, somebody will take you for a ride. You need to do your homework. Yeah. If it's a tr trusted provider, there's, there's check reviews. If they have reviews, make sure that the guy that's reviewing is a actual trusted reviewer. And you can tell, you can see, I'm in the top 100 providers on TE, re reviewers on TEI. Top, the top 100. That's big. All right? I'm in the yeah. middle. Right? Yeah. But people will email me when I leave a review to ask me questions about the provider that I saw. I have no problem responding back. Um, in your own community because well yeah well it's I mean, a whole community it's a back channel yeah and it's but it's good because it helps protect guys from things and like there are providers out there if they like oh if, if anybody else see it on the back on the on one of the uh, backboards yeah has anybody seen this provider and they look they usually look too good to be true when they want a 50 percent deposit i say stay away if there's no reviews or if nobody can absolutely if there's nobody that comes forward on on ti that is somebody that you could trust and it's easy they somebody you could trust has been on there a long time and has left reviews that you could actually substantiate meaning if you know one of the providers that they saw you could reach out to that provider say hey you know this guy yeah. i've done that before yeah. because i want to make sure that their their review of somebody was truth not necessarily truthful but that 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 he actually that owned he it. is actually the right. The, yeah, because sometimes the the girls will make oh, the guys fake, write yes, the reviews. They're fake reviews. Um, but but the guys know if they're like sometimes they'll just ask and then well because because the review board is really really yeah you can stringent and weird. If you're a smart person with the review smart. board, you do not buy into every review that's there. You have to look at the whole package and say okay all of a sudden she's got like five tens in a row and everything else was like seven eight eight nine truthfully she would probably ask for those last reviews so that seven eight nine yeah. is probably the truth and look at the reviewers too if those tens are somebody that's their only review i take them right off the board and then what i'll do is i'll look at other reviewers and see if they reviewed anybody that i've seen in the past and i'll read that review and if it meets up with, oh, that was my experience with that person, then I know they actually saw that person. That's how you That's interesting. we should actually do it. Because it's a good format. Because there are a lot of one-time one reviews on that. And usually these are guys that are just copying, copying favor. I know there's one, yeah. one provider out from Chicago that's changed your name three times and always one of the 10. A lot. One that I know personally that I yeah. had that, that asked me, I didn't give a review, but you know, she was like, well, oh, can you give me a 10, 10, even though one of the 10 things wasn't offered. Yeah. You know, so gotcha. you gotta watch out guys. Yeah. So like you could have your own podcast where you like help and talk about stuff, but well, why don't you? Uh, I don't know about Faceless. that. I could, I could probably do that. Uh, I think you should. I think that um, you could join in if people want to ask more questions for him for help. Uh, um, I was going to turn off my comments because you can't comment inappropriately on YouTube. Well, if you want to message me, you can go to TR. If you go want ahead. TR and I'm Boston Boy. That's I'll link it. it below. Yep. Boston Boy. That's it. On TR. Yep. The original. You'll find me. Yep. And he is a, a very, very good guy. And I, I know lots of my friends that know him too. So, um, I just don't know if you offer it for a service. It'd be a fun service to offer. Because because this world this world is so secretive and it quiet. Be, but actually, in the U.S., it's still, it's it's so stupid. It should be legal. It should just like every other country. We we snicker at it, but you know it's not the oldest profession for for, for any reason. And there'd be a lot more happier people out there, less rapes. And things Absolutely, like, that. like Australia, and New Zealand. Yep. Yeah, for if, sure. If those, for sure. We could just you know that the embarrassment. That's the problem. I'm single, so I don't have that issue. But I know a lot of men that are, that are married. There was a, a bust in the uh, in my area recently, and there was a whole bunch like of stuff. Like four or six months ago, right? About two months ago, actually. Oh. But uh, there's this whole thing about them releasing names. It's just kind of like a threat because yeah. they really don't have any evidence. They didn't catch anybody in yeah. back. But the problem is 
they're not going to go to these guys are never going to jail they didn't do anything because they didn't get caught but it's more about these guys are married or they work someplace and they're going to get in trouble because yeah that because of the stigma with it just like bob Kraft. totally you know it's the stigma that goes along with it. And if we remove the stigma, then it wouldn't be a problem. And these lovely ladies would live in a safer world and be able to do their thing without having to have to look over their shoulder and worry about traveling and getting sites shut down and their payment systems uh, shut down and their money's taken from them. So there's a lot yep. of things that are, are that are foolish that don't need to be there. We have a lot of harassment in our industry. And it shouldn't be there. And, uh, yeah, and, and it makes most of the women that I know, I don't know if they'd ever do this because they're not going to talk about uh, sex and sex no, work. It's, and it's, it's hard. It's, it's it is hard. hard. It is hard. And as girls, a lot of girls will never even show their face because it's still yeah, just especially shitty. Especially international it's girls. On international girls that come here to travel. I've known a couple, one that can't come back here anymore because she got stopped the last time coming from her country. And now she, not won't, fair. Return, she won't return to the not United fair. States because you'll get, you'll get banned for 10 years. You can't come back for anything. So if you have friends or family here, you can't. So they come federally back. watch it too. They like, they try and her. She's not face out, which is yeah. even funnier. I don't know how they figured her out. But the eye scan thing. It, it could have been that. Could have been or the fingerprint yeah, it you know, are that, clear. But, which um, yeah, I do so that. There are, there are women that if you are traveling internationally, they scan you, and if they know you're on an adult site and you're coming in the U.S. You could get stopped and banned to come here. For we, should, we should make uh, you. We should talk about that. And even if I'm not, we'll just do a Zoom with the faceless. You'll be the faceless. We should talk about that so you could help the international ladies because that is actually I don't know a lot about that, so I'm not gonna act like I do. But I know you do because you're probably one of the top reliable um, lifestyle guys in the U.S. with the most knowledge. And that cares, that's a big thing. Uh, and that well, has the most networking, like you do with the guys and the girls. Yeah, right? I, well, I, the thing with me is, I think most guys look at you women or providers as escorts or worse. I look at you as people. You know, you're an equal in my eyes. And you guys yeah. are here because I don't have anybody in my life. I come to you to get that connection that, I, that I'm missing. You know, and if I come back and see you again, I had a good time and I had a great connection with you. Yeah. Because it's, Thanks. I hate it. It's guys, there are so many different providers out there that will boggle your mind. I mean, you could li li literally live your life seeing a different one every day and never, yeah. and never cross paths with the same, the same one ever again. So if you like somebody and you want to see them again, some of these women actually appreciate that. Absolutely, absolutely. I do. I do because I, I develop do. friendships, know you know, you and that's a big deal. That don't care. Mm, yeah, that's not cool. Most of the times when I'm traveling in, in state to state, like 80% of people are my existing friends. Yeah. And um, so just tell me why, I'll tell you why I don't like the word hobbyist, because I'm not a fucking car. I'm not a fucking car. You don't work I, on my Mercedes. I'm not right. a Mercedes, yeah. you know what I mean? No, I, it's I like, like, that's a hobby. I it's like, like I'm not a hobby. I, this isn't a hobby for me. Yeah, it's yeah. a lifestyle. Is it's that a, a good it's a word? It's because... a lifestyle choice for me. My choice is I don't, I don't have a relationship. These are my relationships. But you it's know? the way you choose to live. Even even we, I mean, I agree with the, the relationship piece and I respect that. And I, but like literally it's the way we live. Like, yeah. it's like what we look at. It's what we think about. It's what we dream about. I mean, it's like fantasies. Next time, if we, next time we come, we can do this again. I'll talk about my troubles with sex addiction. Um, and I've actually gone to therapy for that. Yeah. That's another part of why. You did becomes, go to therapy for that? I did. When you were married, like, right? No, I was never married, actually. Okay. But I went to a world-renowned sex therapist. Like, Are you going to touch on a little I bit I literally now? lucked out getting in touch with this guy. But a guy? A guy a sex guy, therapist? Yeah. That's, like, amazing. Did it help you? or like? Uh, he put me on medication, which did help, but kind of... I don't of, like that. But that's... I came off of it because... I don't like that. It literally... I became, like, basically a wall. Yeah, like a zombie. A zombie, yeah. Yeah, that's what happens with some stuff. Way, yeah. yeah, and then you can't function down there. Not anywhere. The little guy doesn't like that nope. kind of stuff. Couldn't function anywhere. Yeah. Well, that's... We'll save that for our next... Nice yeah, one. yeah, we'll say that for a Zoom too. Or um, yeah. so we'll have to do the 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 sex therapist thing with Boston Boy, um, and that's his. That's the, your T E R is just Boston Boy B O S T O M B O Y, right? Yeah. 
And then what's your Twitter? If right you now, want to. It was, it's okay it, if you it don't was, want to it show it. It was Boston Boy, but it's now Cannoli Boy. Because I had an issue on Twitter with somebody, so I renamed it. But <laughs> um, can, I, can I show the cannolis that you brought me? Sure. Real quick here. With, so he is the Cannoli Boy, uh, and uh, these are homemade cannolis. And I'm, I guess uh, you might be able to tell where we're at, but I appreciate you and you being my friend and supporting me and my friends. And, you know, I just, I feel like, in my life and in my lifestyle as well because i publicly say what i do three years ago i was so fucking scared to say what i did i couldn't people ask me what i do and i just lie i mean i'd have to fucking lie because i, I saw so you the airport, I would know exactly who you were yeah. yeah but i used to lie and it, and it feels so good not to lie like here's what i do i if you don't like it watch my youtube and learn something that right so thanks for being on. You're welcome. Thank Until you. next time. Yep. All right. Uh, like and subscribe. And I'm not sure if I'll keep my comments on because uh, the boys can't maintain their uh, family style YouTube. So don't send inappropriate comments. But thanks for watching.